It's time to make a high power super soaker. Perfect for summer fun. This is an easy project and one short trip to your home improvement center and some stuff around the house and you're good to go. Our water tank will be a regular old plastic two liter bottle or larger. Your feed line will be quarter inch high pressure plastic tubing. This stuff is pretty inexpensive. This was like two bucks for this giant piece. Then I drilled a small hole in the cap of the two liter bottle. You want it to be small enough so your quarter inch feed line fits snugly. Now you might want to get your cat to check your work. Yep. You want your feed line to be about three feet long, so measure it off and snip it off. A quarter inch on off valve is not essential for this project, it just makes it easier to use. So you'll attach one piece of hose to one end of the valve, and then you're going to cut off about a six inch piece and attach it to the other end. We need a way to attach our feed line to our garden hose and also our water faucet, so we'll be using a compression fitting on a small adapter that'll screw into both. For these compression fitting connections, you'll want to use a couple of wrenches and make sure everything is nice and tight. The final piece we'll need is an adapter that'll go to our nozzle and to our feed line. Okay, here we go. Time to attach the cap with our feed line to our bottle, make sure it's tight, and let's head outside. Attach the other end of our feed line to a water hose. And turn the water on. We're going to start filling our water bottle with water. Now, one precaution. You don't want to fill it up too much because pressure is building, and if you build up too much pressure, this will happen. It blew a hole right through the bottom of the water tank. I found out that filling the water tank about half full is just about right, but you can experiment with your bottle. Shut off our handy valve, disconnect the feed line from our hose, attach the adapter, and then attach it to our water nozzle. Now it's time to open our on-off valve, and we're armed and ready to shoot some water. It fires a high pressure stream about 30 feet. Not bad. So that's how to make an easy, high power super soaker. For more fun videos, click the box on the left to go to my channel, or click the box on the right for more hacks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Stay dry.